Hi, good evening all. Now I'm going to talk about the sports, the contribution of sports. So I think this is the right um, session for you all. So I'm going to talk about the SAI and how SAI is supporting Indian athletes to promote sports at international level. So I will start with NSDF. By name it's clear, National Sports Developing Fund. Through this, we support our athletes not only in training but overall performance. Can I have a second slide, please? Let's have a clap for this one. <laughs> India have achieved 107 total medal tally in Asian Game 2018. We have achieved nearby 70 uh, uh, total 70 uh, 70 medals. Now this year we have achieved. 107 medals, approximately 55% in growth. And thank you to each and every Indian, those who have contributed directly or indirectly to the sports. Can I have a next slide? This is the overall journey of Indian sports in the Olympic. Last Olympic, we have achieved nearby seven medals. Next uh, slide, please. So our Prime Minister, Modi sir, has met with all the Olympians who has achieved uh, medals in Tokyo Olympic 2022. I was talking about NSDF. So NSDF is chaired by our uh, minister, uh, Sri Anurag sir, and MOS uh, minister, Sri Nikshit Pramanik sir. Next slide, please. So what is the objective of NSDF? So NSDF has been constituted, there is a four objective. NSDF is directly supporting the TOPS. What is TOPS? Is TOPS is Target Olympic Podium Schemes. It is in schemes where it helps. Later on I will tell you the complete details. The second, extending infrastructure and the research development, international collaborations and promotion of sports in India. Next slide, please. I was talking about the TOPS. It is in a scheme created by the Modi government in 2014. It helped the athletes in two ways. There is two type of athletes we have. The first is development athletes who is targeted for next Olympic is Olympic 2028 and 32. And next year Olympic is going to happen in Paris. So we do have the athletes for the uh, upcoming uh, uh, Paris uh, Olympic in 2024. This scheme also uh, we have more than 350 athletes. These 350 athletes is not only getting other than pocket allowances like 50,000, 25,000 per month, but the entire things. I will give you the success story, how the athletes like Neera Chopra, Mirabai, and each and everything has, uh, each and every athletes has achieved in uh, past years or in, in this Asian Games. Not in the small things, if the athlete has to take the ice bath, the tops is there. Each and everything approval is happening on the WhatsApp. They are the first time in, in uh, uh, government um, infrastructure. Uh, approval is happening on the WhatsApp. You do understand we are working for 365, 24 by 7. This scheme is also important, important role to get maximum number of medals in the Olympic or the Asian Games. Next slide, please. So as I told you, Top scheme has four genesis. The first, we are Olympic, we do have the Olympic dreams. Second, we are talent and development. So in each and 15 days, the teammates, a team comes together and talk about the entire athletes for the top athletes, elite athletes and the development athletes, how they are performing, what are the requirement of uh, these athletes. If there is any gap, uh, and through gap analysis, we found that this gap needs to add in a, to fulfill as soon as possible. The team is there to support the athletes at any level. Third is elite support, as I told you. Each and everything, from its clothes to the ice bath, to each and every, the, our team is there to support the athletes just to achieve, to finish the podium. And the result we have seen the Asian Game 2022. We have achieved 107. Supporting success. In, uh, previously also the government was supporting the uh, athletes, but currently under the uh, Modi government regime, 
we have more emphasis on three type of athletes. The first we are talking about the ground level from the talent is coming. Then it's coming to the middle level. Then it's come to the tops. Tops has been divided into two parts I've already told. It's the first one is the elite and second one is the development group. Elite is focusing on coming Olympic 2024 where the developing athletes is focused for the 28 and 32 Olympics. Next slide please. As I told you, I will go through with the su few success stories that happened in the past. Next slide. Our golden boy, Neeraj Chopra. I think each one is aware of Neeraj Chopra. You have seen the Neeraj Chopra to achieve Diamond League, World Champ Athletics, uh, this Asian Games, last Olympics, Neeraj Chopra has achieved. The government has spent nearby 7 to 8 crores per year on Neeraj Chopra to achieve the such medals. And each and everything, in, in this 7 to 8 crores, each and everything is uh, given to the Neeraj Chopra to work towards their games. Next, PV Sindhu. Again, we spend a good amount of money on the PV Sindhu to achieve the podium finish. Next slide, please. Mira Bai Chanu, the similar. I have taken the few. Next slide, please. Bajang Punia. Next slide, please. Now, again, to excel each and everything, a sport needs two or three things. New infrastructure is important and the academics is very important. When I'm talking about academics, there is definitely a gap. We have a program called Train the Trainer. Why it is important? Now we have a trainer, but at the grassroots level, there is n number of trainers who are not trained. Due to that, we just miss the good talent at the grassroots level, which need to be, the trainer need to be trained in a such a way that it not give more training to that athletes at the junior level. And that is the current problem of India, where SAI and NSDF is together working and hope so in coming years we will achieve this, uh, things in a such way that we have a good infrastructure as well as a good academics in the terms of train the trainer. Over here, we required the PSUs and the corporates and the other individuals to come along with the SAI and NSDF to help us in the monetary term or the in the kind term or from your expertise where we can use your expertise or CSR fund to develop new infrastructure as well as the academies. Next slide, please. Used to do the international collaborations. You used to call the good HPM from the different, different high performance manager, HPD, high performance director from the different uh, countries. Suppose uh, we have taken this example of Korea, they are good in the archery. So you have called the, uh, done the collaboration with the, uh, in the archery with the Korea. When the HPD is coming to India and uh, finding the gap analysis from the grassroots level to the elite level, and we try to fix that gap to get the maximum podium finish either in Asian Games or in the Olympics. So in archery, we have finished nearby seven to eight medals, which is the highest in the last 70 years. <laughs> Next, please. Again, research and development, we all, we are ready to accept it. In India, we are not doing the research and development in any field. But this is very essential for any country to invest money in research and development. So, SAI and NSDF together investing money in research and development to come out the gaps, the important things, and to train that athletes in a such way when the athletes will be in their peak season, they will be able to get the medal. So we are doing the R&D. So, uh, uh, next slide, please. So, I told you, promotion of specific sports in Olympic, international and national, Paralympics is also the part of SAI and the indigenous games like yoga, some other games we are promoting. Next slide, please. How you will support NSDF or SAI? You can support NSDF or SAI through the tops. Next slide, please. You can take the individual games. Suppose any PSUs or corporate wants to support, they can take the entire game 
is like cycling, you can take boxing, you can take uh, uh, archery. So I'm just giving an example, the arch archery is taken over by the NTPC. So NTPC is spending nearby 25 crore rupees per year to develop the archery system in India. So they are investing in the grassroots level, mid level, the top level, elite level and the development level. And you have seen the result in this Asian Games. These are the parameters. Uh, next slide, please. We have SAI National Center of Excellence, where the, our upcoming athletes is staying, the complete four times food to their merchandise, to kids, and everything is provided by the SAI. Now, this gives the good impact. If you are giving the CSR fund to the SAI, you may develop the sports science each and everywhere. Without science, there is nothing. So sports is directly connected with the science. The second is maintenance of the existing infrastructure. And third one is the complete support of National Center of Excellence. From food to kit to the trainer and to the staying and each and everything you will support through the CSR. Eminent athlete, like I'm taking the example of Yogeshwar Dutt. The NSDF has given 5 crore to Yogeshwar Dutt to establish a center in Haryana, uh, Rohtak, for the wrestling. Like that, like Vijay Kumar, Mirabai, some other athletes taking the fund from the government directly or indirectly working at the grassroots level to develop the sports ecosystem in the country. Next, please. What are the benefits if you are going to contribute with the NSDF? These are the benefits. The first thing, you will get the tax deduction under ATG. You are going to... One, one minute, please. Thank you. You are, you, you are going to uh, mention in the mini, uh, ministry, uh, public, uh, ministry uh, uh, media release. You, you have an opportunity to go and meet with our athletes. Can, can I have a next, uh, next slide, please? These are the opportunities. These are the opportunities where you, you have the co-branding with the athletes, where you have the co-branding with the size national center of excellence. You go and meet with our Olympians. Lo uh, your logo person should be there and nurturing the brand. So again, very first time we are coming to the public and the PSUs for asking the CSR fund. Then you have the right time to invest in the sports where you are getting the right place at the right time with the, your right logo to reach the right audience. Next slide, please. One, 30 seconds. These are our uh, promoters or you can the CSR partners. Can I have a next slide, please? Uh, next slide. The testimonial, you can run the video, please. Can I have our video? These are testimonials given by our the top athlete. Video for 30 seconds. Video for 30 seconds. It's a 20, uh, two minute video. So you can run for 30 seconds only. Can I have a video for 30 seconds only? Request. Only for 30 seconds. share the brochure with you. If you like it, do support NSDF and Sai. Thank you. Thank you for your valuable time.